you know, th th that protest outside the BBC, banning journalists from your final press conference. I mean, do, do you think that's wise to sort of, you know, attack attack the media like that? You know, I mean, does it not look a little rapid? Well, can I just say, if you take, I, I think what you really have to understand is if. I know that Channel 4 are not reduced to believing any nonsense which is tweeted out by the Daily Telegraph. It, Butte House has limited capacity. That was the issue. We tried to get as many of the, your colleagues and other colleagues uh, in uh, as possible. It's just total nonsense. And as far as peaceful protest outside the BBC, well, since when did peaceful protest not be a normal part of politics? What you should be concerned about is what happened on, uh, uh, on Friday night. Uh, when uh, peaceful demonstrators, a joyous demonstration was attacked by a, a bunch of thugs, which is identified and uh, fully explained in today's issue of the Sunday Herald. I look forward to some investigative reporting. Luckily, of course, Police Scotland are well able to deal with these people and it won't tarnish this wonderful, amazing, extraordinary referendum campaign that we've had. Well, but as far as the BBC is concerned, then they have fine, outstanding journalists, and I'll start to name them, if you like, like David Dimbleby or Brian Taylor and a number of others. But in terms of their performance through the, this referendum campaign, then I think there's a, a huge difference between being a public service broadcaster and being a state broadcaster, and I'm not certain that the BBC understand that difference.